Rory second pre-season here? Have you approached differently with anything changed in your lead up this pre-season? Uh, it's been much the same. Um, last year, didn't miss a pre-season training and sort of going on the same way now. So it's been good to um, build my body back up. I mean, after a couple of injuries the last couple of years. So yeah, it's been good. I haven't missed a session yet. So yeah. So finished the year with, in, with injury. Uh, you would have assumed when you went down that you wouldn't be doing a big, big part of the pre-season, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, um, going down at that time of the year, I was able to have surgery and then by the time we started pre-season, I was pretty much ready to go. So I had that, that time to heal while, you know, the back end of the year and then obviously the whole off-season. So, yeah, I feel really good. How significant was the surgery? How hard did that to go on it? Uh, it was basically just to put a screw in my bone and everything else was fine. So all the ligaments and everything else, nothing tore. So I was really lucky to just sort of have that and now yeah, I'm ready to go, yeah. Are you happy to see Sean Darcy taking the next step up and you do less rucking? Is that a good thing for you or do you like to get up in the middle of the ground? Yeah, well, obviously I came to the club uh, to play as a forward and um, Sean building his game. I mean, he's only 21, um, but yeah, he's definitely developing and uh, he's, he's a lot better at 21 than I was, so he's really good. Yeah. So your role this season, what are you expecting? Uh, looking to play forward, yeah, with uh, Hogs and Tabs. So I've, I've been trained as a forward and that's the plan, yeah. You're confident all three of you can fit up there in the forward line and still do big score? Yep, very confident, yep. Has anything changed going forward in the attack? with the new regime of coach, has anything changed the way you attack? Uh, not so much, I mean everyone has their, their game plan going into the year and then obviously it comes down to, to your players and how they work together so not much the same, I mean once we all sort of get out there and start to feel each other's games out I'm sure we'll be uh, on track, yeah. How much time do you expect to spend as the second ruckman? Um, whatever sort of need to do, um, yeah. You know, five, ten minutes a quarter, I'm, I'm happy with. But if I have to take the ruck at times, I'm, I'm happy to go up there. Justin Longmuir was that sort of player as well, wasn't he? He, he was, pretty yeah. Pretty much the same type of player <laughs> as your coach. What's he been able to um, talk to you about and, and how have you found him to as one of the blokes who's his heights, his, his, his style of football? Yeah, well, uh, you know, last, last year I sort of took a back seat coming in. I didn't want to... I come in and tell boys what to do. You know, I wanted to build relationships, and this year he's sort of telling me to, you know, step up as a leader and try to lead this young group and, you know, really direct on the field. So it's been really good. What about from a, a advice on playing the game? Has he given, given as a similar roles? Uh, well, the game's changing every year. You know, it's yeah. now we got one in the square at each end, and or two. But yeah, um, it's obviously changed a lot. But he has full faith in what I can do on the field. What's the mood like around the place? It just feels. Different going back to this time last year. Well, we've got even younger, so you know all the boys are pretty much the same age. Um, you know, a couple of us older boys, but yeah, it's a good feeling. Obviously, every year it's a good feeling in pre-season. You know, get out and train with the boys, and yeah, um, you know, really looking forward to this season and um, seeing what we can do as a young group. How do you feel about the youthful nature of them? Um, like I said last year, it's a lot like the Giants feel. Um, early days, you know, everyone's so young but I'm pretty much going through it again, but obviously I'm the older player, so I've got to sort of try to guide these young players to um, play their best footy. Is that for you much hope for the coming season? Yeah, um, you know, we got, we've still got, we got um, Aishi and uh, Blakers, and yeah, it's, it's been good getting that experience, you know, that sort of 24 year olds coming in, so that sort of helps with that sort of stuff, but obviously losing Spide and Bowers is, you know, that's a lot of experience. But yeah, that's that just makes us older players have to step up a bit more. Any yeah, difference sort of change room without Ballard's problems, especially as the one? Yeah, um, not both of them pretty much, you know, they're both characters and really good to have around the club. Um, but you know, there's so many different boys around the club, heaps of characters, heaps of young boys that come in and uh, have a good joke. So yeah, it's, it's always getting new guys, yeah. Who's, who's stepping up in the, the joke space? Uh, Griffin Lowe loves a good joke, so he likes to hear his have his voice heard, so yeah, he's been good. You mentioned the um, youthful list. Can you give us any specific names of players that you've just taken your advice from that you didn't know about coming into the pre-season? Um, all our first years, you know, they all got a lot of speed and um, I definitely don't want to be chasing them around. Um, but yeah, uh, guys like uh, Youngy, um, really good skills uh, coming into a club and being able to kick the way he does has really impressed me. So just need to see more of them out there. We didn't see any of Sturt and Valenti last year after arriving with um, big reputation thing get injured. How are they going at the moment in terms of getting themselves right for this season? Yeah, I think they're training with the, the main group most of the time now and you know just building their bodies. I mean, I know what it's like being like that. My first couple of years in the AFL list, I was injured a majority of the time. So it's just getting around those boys and you know first couple of years trying to get their bodies used to uh, you know training and playing games. Yeah. 
how's this pre-season interview as the third year of a different coach? Like, you have to Last year at Giants, change coach again, then change coach again. To, to come yeah, here. yeah. It must be really weird. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously that wouldn't happen usually to many players, but um, yeah, just building relationships with all of them. You know, I had Leon for five years, Ross for one, and now building a relationship with um, J Lo. So no, it's been really good. They're all different in their own way, but you know, much the same in, in game plan. You've got to learn and get a feel of what what they sort of want from you.